Hello, this is another extra wave, and we thought uh, we'd discuss uh, after the uh, marriage postal survey uh, uh, results were announced, there was a quite a major national security incident on the Thursday at uh, 2 a.m., the, the day after the plebiscite. Uh, Christopher Pine, the Leader of the House and Minister for uh, Defence Industry, on his Twitter account, he liked a uh, gay pornographic content. Now, that stayed up until about uh, 6 a.m., and he claimed that his account was uh, hacked, and uh, Senator Cory Bernardi, formerly of the Liberal Party of Australian Conservatives, he, he, he was very concerned about the uh, national security implications of this and wanted the uh, Senate to uh, investigate to make sure that, you know, a minister's uh, you know, position had not been compromised. Uh, Cory Bernardi said that, you know, we've got to make sure how far and deep this uh, penetration goes. So certainly this is uh, qu quite, quite, quite a big scandal and, you know, we have to be, you know, worried about the, you know, security of, you know, our senior minister's, uh, you know, uh, personal accounts. I <laughs> Well, I know now why Christopher Pine pushed so hard for gay marriage. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, this obviously, in all seriousness, is a, a great uh, deep breach of our national security, and it must be taken very, very seriously. Um, now we know uh, Christopher Pine's private life, and I feel sorry that his, um, that his family had to find out in such a way, quite frankly, but um, this really does show us the threat to national security uh, that our nation uh, has. Um, before you know it, um, we, we might even see uh, webcams of prime ministers being hacked and then we could be getting a really rude shock. Uh, we, you know, so we need to take this very seriously and especially this, this cyber security threat that we face. Um, now we know what Christopher likes to do at 2 a.m. in the morning and uh, before you know it, our, uh, you know, our defence uh, planning uh, will be exposed to the North Koreans. Uh, so I, I agree with Corey Bernardi. He's, uh, the common sense is here, as Corey says, and, uh, you know, it's, it's quite clear that this deep penetration of our national security uh, is is a big risk uh, to us as Australians, um, and we really need to pay close close attention to this because this could put us in a in a tight and kind of precarious position in the geopolitical sphere. Now, when he was asked, uh, Corey Bernardi, like whether he genuinely believed, you know, Christopher Pine's Twitter was hacked, he said, well, you know, I'm prepared to take people at their word, which is interesting because only a few weeks ago, uh, Corey Bernardi said that uh, Christopher Pine was one of the most uh, untrustworthy people he'd ever come across in politics. And Bernardi also said, you know, I'm not sure what type of person looks up <laughs> gay porn at uh, 2 a.m. in the morning. So there's been a lot of um, speculation about, you know, what might have happened here. And you can kind of uh, speculate that maybe, you know, Bernardi, he, you know, he's not really interested in national security implications and maybe, you know, wants to find out about the, the true uh, extent of, you know, what occurred uh, at 2 a.m. Well, Tim, I think that... Um we had an earlier discussion that Christopher Pine's staffers, a few of them are homosexuals. Now, maybe Chris and the lads had a couple of drinks um, down at the local um, gay nightclub. They were getting a bit cheery. Uh, Dave is a larger lad, 
Some would describe him as a bear. He didn't get lucky that night. He takes Chris's phone and says, can I call a cab, mate? Yeah, yeah, sure, you can call a cab. But instead of calling a cab, he ducks into the loo and he looks up what, uh, you know, two bulky men are doing. And uh, he enjoys himself at 2 a.m. In the, in the evening and in the morning. And he doesn't realise that he's logged on to Chris's Twitter. I think this is obvious, right? It's what's happened. And uh, a lot of people have been saying, well, why doesn't, you know, Christopher Pine just admit that uh, this is what happened? Well, uh, probably he, you know, uh, unlike his uh, cabinet colleague, Michaela Cash, doesn't want to throw uh, a staffer under the bus, or dare I say, uh, doesn't want to throw them under the, the float, uh, if, if I may use that term. Uh, but, yeah, it's... And initially, Bill Shorten, he said that he wanted to get to the, the bottom of this uh, uh, scandal. But it was interesting that Chris, Chris Pine's uh, Labour friend, uh, Anthony Albanese, Albo, uh, actually rang um, Bill, uh, Bill Shorten up and said, you know, I don't, I don't think this is a national security uh, issue. And so Bill Shorten, you know, ha, ha, has backed off now. Well... Bill has got a very hot wife, I'll admit. Now, if Bill's, if Bill, Bill's wife's a, be, a bit of a beard, right, and um, secretly him and Chris are having a thing going on, you'd want this thing to be covered up real tight. You wouldn't want anyone to hear about it. So I can understand, you know, why that elbow goes on the phone, oh, g'day, Bill, you know, is this a problem? No, not really, we should hush this up real quick, you know. It is, it's interesting, but really, I, honestly, all jokes aside, there's either one of his staff has got a bit drunk, gone on his phone, and looked up some bulky men in the loo waiting for the cab, or uh, he's done a John Podesta and he's gone fishing, typed in a password. Chris Pine isn't the brightest man around, wouldn't surprise me. Um, and, you know, his Twitter's been hacked. Or. Thirdly, Chris has, um, let's say this mildly, he has visited a gentleman's website, uh, his Twitter account has been compromised, and this has been posted. Three things would have happened there. Um, I made some remarks before that were a bit of a joke. But seriously, I think they're one of the three things that would have happened. Uh, Corey, it is an international security matter. Uh, the Twitter account is completely independent of any national security uh, business. Um, I think that's just looking for a few headlines. Um, the only people who read newspapers are old people. Uh, old people will vote conservative. Corey wants more votes. Corey is stirring up something for nothing. I like Corey, but I don't stand with Corey here. It was interesting that, because, uh, you know, obviously you and me found this, you know, episode uh, quite humorous, uh, but... Uh, the left was not amused at all. Richard Dean Itali said how disgusted he was at Corey Bernardi's comments. And there was also uh, a, a, an article from our friends at uh, Junkie saying that this type of, you know, casual homophobia is just an insult to the, you know, uh, yes uh, survey victory. I, I think, how, how is it homophobic? I don't know. How, do the people at Junkie, uh, what do they do? They're, they're just a joke. They're, they're terrible. Uh, I think they're fake news, quite frankly. Uh, they're awful. They're a joke and they're an insult to the media profession, the journalist profession. Now, they're a joke. I think what well, Corey, Corey occasionally says things that are out of line. But, you know, I agree with Corey on many things, uh, as you probably do being libertarian on many economic issues. Um, I am probably probably hardcore, probably isn't the right word to use after talking about Chris's pornographic incident, but certainly I might not be as hardcore on social issues as Corey is, but definitely family values. I like Corey. Uh, I think it was a bit over the top. I don't understand actually where he's coming from here. Um, I, 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 think, I, yeah, I, I think I do. I, I don't, um, he, you know... Hates Christopher Pine and wants to embarrass him. 
Well, yeah, that's, that's all there that is must to be us. what it is. That that's it. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not as complicated and nuanced as um, his bear buddy Dave going into the loo calling a, a cab. It's just uh, Corey wanting to embarrass Chris. Well. Uh, I, I don't think we. Uh, I agree with uh, you know Albo and who convinced Bill Shorten that you know I don't think we. This is going to be the the best use of you know parliamentary uh, taxpayers' resources to you know find out you know who 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 hit the the like button at uh, uh, two a.m. But uh, but it's certainly uh, you know after all the uh, drama of the past week uh, given us a lighter note to end on.